the ambassador for peace award winner from international human rights council 87 year old thomas menam parambil the retired archbishop of guwahati who visited manipur recently appealed for peace and normalcy he said that the violence which erupted on 3rd may 2023 is still continuing unabated so many precious lives have been lost houses destroyed thousands left homeless and fleeing from their villages causing immense suffering to people of both the communities with a cry from the heart the man who brought about many peace initiatives in the northeast is calling out to every citizen of this country to work towards peace here i am to make an appeal for peace very many people have made an appeal for peace in manipur recently boxers have made appeal the uh, actors have made appeal politicians have made appeal intellectuals have made an appeal and it was said that religious leaders have not made an appeal which is certainly not true christian leaders of northeast gathered in guwahati a few weeks ago had made a very eager appeal for peace the the uh, nagarik samaj in guwahati had made an appeal christian leaders of uh, manipur gathered together in infal had made an appeal the uh, religious leaders therefore had made an appeal uh, 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 in different contexts but uh, these things do not appear in the media unfortunately the the, the appeals of religious leaders church leaders have gone unnoticed uh, and on this occasion i would like to say that on the one hand they have made an appeal and i would like to refer very specially to the appeal that 18 religious leaders of manipur itself made on june the 5th for peace it was a cry from the heart it was a, a cry of helplessness it was a moment when the violence was still growing a sense of uh, anxiety was in the heart of everyone in manipur and everyone who loved manipur i have made i made two trips to manipur visited the camps in kanpokpi and churachankul and some of the foothills of manipur of both communities i had approached several intellectual leaders retired officers professors and uh, writers uh, and some uh, religious leaders and they all are expressing their eagerness that peace returns to manipur and uh, uh, the gathering of religious leaders on the 4th of june was precisely a kind of a climax but it did not receive attention and violence continues and violence continues despite the call of so very many other people who are extremely important society itself and on this occasion they were referring back to the call of religious leaders who will continue to work for peace in the days to come as well we uh, urge everyone responsible in society to work for peace the, the uh, those in authority in the government civil servants uh, um, public leaders uh, intellectuals in society uh, general society com- community as a whole uh, leaders of both communities thinking groups in both communities we uh, 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 standing on our knees uh, we ask uh, we request that uh, you you persuade your own communities to calm down to relax to think of the future Re- remember the past glory of manipur think about the great future of manipur think of the generation that may lose 
and the entire period of their young youth, youthful days if uh, violence continues still may the manipur return to peace may society uh, enjoy the benefit of the mutual understanding uh, religious leaders are not always prominent in in in, in the media but they uh, love hum- they love their own people but they love humanity they love the future of communities they are concerned for the general good of humanity and, and that is the reason why their voice should not fall in deaf ears but it should be heard uh, i am archbishop uh, retired archbishop of guwahati and i am so glad to have been associated with manipur in the past so many students uh, from manipur when they were studying in shillong were my students and i've kept in touch with them i uh, love uh, the manipur i love the people of manipur in the name of uh, the religious leaders that gathered in in infar on june 18 and others whom they represented we uh, uh, plead for peace uh, and uh, uh, mutual understanding among all communities thank you for your attention